Welcome to another installment of Eyes on VIs. One of my friends recently asked me an interesting question about running a VI in the background. For demonstration purposes, I've created a mock VI that pretends to monitor some system resource. The question relates to what happens when the user exits LabVIEW. Instead of prompting the user to abort running VIs, my friend wanted his VI to silently shut down in the background. Let's take a look at the background VI's diagram to see how we can accomplish this. Here we have an event structure inside of a loop. Every half a second we update the chart on the front panel. The only other thing the event structure is currently handling is the stop button. Let's add another frame to the event structure. The event for shutting down LabVIEW or closing a project is called Application Instance Close. Notice that there are two available in the events list. The one with the green arrow and no question mark is a notification event. The one with the red arrow and the question mark is a filter event. The filter event gives us the silent shutdown option which lets us suppress the abort running VI's dialog. Note that the VI will still be aborted, we just won't ask the user about it first. Now let's save the VI and run it again. LabVIEW still asks you to save changes to VIs being edited, but it doesn't ask you to abort the running VI. It worked! Or did it? Let's look at that VI again. Notice that this VI is trying to run some sort of shutdown code, but there's no guarantee that this code is going to run because it is placed outside of the loop containing the event structure. We're going to need to add another frame to our event structure. This time we're going to use the application instance closed notify event. The filter event gets sent to every VI in memory that's listening for it and everyone has a chance to discard the event and stop the close. The notification event will happen after we have committed to shutting down LabVIEW and it is the place that where you can guarantee that your VI is in fact going to stop executing. Note that we have to put the shutdown code inside the event structure because there's no guarantee that anything outside of this event frame is going to run. At some point after this event frame completes execution, this VI will be aborted. If I was really making a VI that had an interactive shutdown option as well, I would have to do a little bit more work to make sure that the shutdown code ran in both that case and in the LabVIEW quitting case. That's it for today. I hope you find this information useful if you ever need to create a background execution VI in LabVIEW. Thank you for reading my blog, Eyes on VIs.